Hello FreeCAD users, I am CADSIS coming with another tutorial on FreeCAD. Today's video is all about shape binding. This is a key concept in modeling where you maintain relationship between bodies. Here is an example where you have assembly containing a lid and a box. In the parametric model, you want to change the container of the lid and the other should change along and maintain their relationship so that the lid will fit into the container. So here is a model I already created to demonstrate the shape bind concept. So the shape bind uh, um, button is this one. So, uh, so I'm not going to in detail describe how this model was created. Uh, and that's not required uh, in this situation. What we are going to do is, uh, you know, kind of give you a, a conceptual idea of shape binder. So this model, uh, I would call it a, you know, it could be a cooler box, toolbox, or you know, jewelry box, anything. Have uh, two components, uh, two bodies. Uh, one is a, a, you know, box. I call this box. Other one is the lid. So lid needs to fit into the box, right? That's that's the you know kind of the uh, requirement, right? So um, maybe I just illustrate my point here. So it's a empty box, and let's say if I go here, it's the you know that's the lid. Okay. Now, if I let's say you know I want to make some changes, so these models were created using sketches so and they are you know these two are independent so let's say i want to change some dimensions in the box so what do i do i go to the tree identify the sketch that i need to change so i'm going to click, double click on that and um, so before that let me back up a bit here going to uh, switch off the lid that things makes easy and then I'm going to uh, click on the sketcher so I'm going to make the box active first of all so make the box active I'm going to double click on it you have this uh, dark color box around it I'm going to go to the sketcher base sketch and I'm going to say let's say 48 inches I'm going to increase by a foot yeah. and uh, let's see now I'm going to close out now you can see the box has increased in length with remain the same so let's say what about the lid you know? okay so lid now is not fit in or oh, it's smaller essentially right so ideally this is not a good modeling practice right you want these two to change together because you know they go in as pair right and so if the box increase if you're building a parametric model you change stuff on one feature other feature should change so how do we do that so that's where this shape binder comes in that's the purpose essentially to use the shape bind i mean i have seen people using uh, shape bind for many things and it's all right but you know fundamentally what you're doing is you are binding a shape to another shape so that when one shape or the one object change a corresponding object changes so essentially it would have been nice if I change the box dimensions, my lid also change automatically. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to blow off this lid because it's useless. Uh, so I'm going to blow it off. Now I'm going to use the shape binder concept to um, and, and create the lid. And then uh, I'll demonstrate how that works. Okay, so uh, first thing is to uh, create another body. Okay, so let's say I'm going to create another body here. 
now um, so this body is now active so you have to make uh, the act this body is the active okay and then uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to create copy some shapes from this to this one that's what we are going to do so and we are going to do that by using the shape binder uh, tool now um, as, as I said you know you have to have the active body that will accept the the shape coming from the other body okay now uh, there are two ways to do that so let's I'm going to first illustrate the easier method what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these edges okay and you could create you know you can create or you could pick edges you could pick faces uh, both works fine but in this situation I'm going to only pick the edges so first I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this edge now it is active so I'm going to press the control button and keep picking the rest of the edges okay uh, and okay so we're going to one a couple of more here okay so we pick all of them now i'm going to say shape binder to create a new shape bind okay so it already shows that all these edges have picked it's already in this window and the object is thickness i'll explain it why this is shown as a object as thickness okay i'm going to say okay now thickness is this object so that's the you know uh, that's the object that is this box so in, in our free cad principle it is the cumulative solid and the cumulative solid is uh, is already in this thickness object okay now the shape binder if you click on it you can see that uh, it is clicking uh, picking up this so now i want to pick a second shape binder this outer surface now i'm going to do that in the second method so i'm going to first click on this now it's empty i'm going to say which object so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to uh, say this one so that it went and pick that uh, thickness object now i have to keep adding geometry so i'm going to say and it added that one and i have to keep adding the next one and i have to keep adding the next one and i have to keep going you know one at a time so you guys can figure it out which method you want to use now obviously the first method is easier right but you know it's up to you so keep adding so how many we added one eight eight so eight is the correct number i'm going to say okay i got two shape binders that are connected to this thickness object in this active body so shape binder one and shape shape binder zero okay now i can use these two to create you know a, a body so first thing is i'm going to use this guy now it's like you know using a, a sketch because this has geometry in it i can just pad it okay i'm going to save 1.5 inch i'm going to make it reverse and i'm going to say okay so now you got a body okay now i'm going to take the second one which is the outer uh, box or the rectangle and i'm going to pad that and i'm going to say 1.5 it's in the opposite direction i'm going to say okay now you got a lid okay so again 
you know kind of go here and show you the lead we created okay so now which method is easier the this method is far more easier and there's advantage to this okay and what's that advantage is so if i change the this body let's see what happens okay so we'll quickly save it and let's say i want to you know go back to my original sketch and change the box and i'm going to say and i'll go back and say 36 and i'm go okay maybe 35 i don't care which number it is okay so see the difference my box change and my lid change alongside with that right so that's exactly what we wanted right so so the that's the fundamental understanding of the shape binder you bind one object or one body to another so when one changes the other one changes right so that's the kind of the um, you know basic principle and the advantage in using the shape binder so the next example I want to show you is uh, a bracket, okay? Now, this is a very simple model where, you know, I created a, a rectangle with a sketch. So if I go and go to the sketch, you can see that uh, it's, you know, I'm gonna change this back to say, six inches. So you can see that um, it's six inch uh, width and five inch height, and it is symmetrically constrained about the origin. So I would recommend when you use the shape binder, uh, you know, you're doing some serious modeling. So I would recommend you constrain, fully constrain the model, okay? So uh, it's a simple model. And once you create that, you can fill it and and then uh, you know you can uh, you know put a hole uh, by pocketing it okay so next step is i'm going to create another body okay so this body and it's same as before right the last time we pick some lines so this time i'm going to pick a face okay so i'm going to pick the face and my body is this body zero zero one is active uh, and i'm going to pick this face go to shape binder and it already added the geometry yeah, so i'm going to just say okay so now this shape binder is there now i'm going to create a sketch on the shape binder now if you haven't seen this this is something that is you know advantageous in the shape binder so you're just going to go to sketcher and it is a, a shape bind is a valid sketch plane so i'm going to pick that say okay now um, i'm going to go back and maybe what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch this guy off and i'm going to switch this guy off by pressing the uh, space bar uh, and, and the reason is i want to pick some edges and um, if they are active i will have a hard time picking them so i'm going to pick these edges using the external geometry linker go and pick this guy pick this guy uh, i think that's enough for me so i'm going to escape out and then i'm going to create some features uh, maybe like some few holes around it as i said we are going to create a back bracket so there are some holes we need to put in that's uh, fine uh, that's fine i can make them equal with a constraint equal constraint uh, and then another equal constraint here so you got that now i'm going to put some uh, dimension to this uh, okay undo that and come back and radius okay point far 
fighting for it is enough. Now I'm going to use the equal constraint. Okay, I already used it, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to use the symmetric constraint here. Uh, to do that, I actually need to pick the center. Okay, so pick the center, pick the axis, and pick the center again. Now those two are symmetric. Yeah, something go, going out of whack here, so let's do that again. Okay, that worked. So same thing. Do that and pick, okay, I didn't pick that. Okay, so yeah, it's not a good day today. So let's be careful to pick them. Take that. Okay. Okay, so got the symmetric constraint on all four. So this sketch is not fully constrained yet. So <clears throat> I recommend you fully constrain these sketches, right? When you use the shape binder, that's one, uh, you know, pro tip. Otherwise, you will not have good control. So, okay, another constraint. Now it's fully constrained, okay? So, I'm going to get out of here, go back here. And now this shape binder is there, so I'm going to say pick the shape binder and I'm going to say pad it. I'm going to say 0.25. Okay, so there's this 0.25 tick bracket. Now, in, uh, in the other side, I have the sketch already. I'm going to pick on that sketch and I'm going to say pocket. Uh, keep uh, maybe yeah let's see what happens uh, it's not the I think it's need to reverse it okay so that works so I got some holes drilled into the uh, bracket now since we have the shape binder I'm going to act, make this guy active and we got this and i know but we have to have a couple of holes here okay four holes here but i'm not going to bother about it right now so if you go back to this sketch and if you start changing stuff around let's say seven inch what would happen see your holes maintain the same uh you know they maintain the same symmetry and also maintain same distance from the edge so that's kind of a the you know main thing right you are uh, you know kind of a controlling or connecting one body to another so when one changes the other one changes alongside and uh, that's you know key when you create uh, assembly okay so, you know, that's kind of uh, the tutorial I want to get you. It's, it's a brief uh, kind of a uh, tutorial on the shape binder. And I hope you guys learned something new here. And I would really appreciate if you guys give thumbs up to this video and subscribe. Have a blessed day.